hopefully one day. Fingers crossed. All right, let's change over. Let's go overseas. You've just returned mm. from Hawaii. I feel like saying Hawaii yeah. yet again. <laughs> yet again. <I laughs> There's know. no jealousy in my voice whatsoever. So you visited West Oahu. Um, tell us about yeah. how that sort of differed, I guess, from any other experience you had there. All right, so what you've got uh, in Oahu, obviously, where Honolulu is and the, the main island of Hawaii. Yeah. And uh, Waikiki is when you leave the airport off to the right, it's about a 20 minute drive right. If you go 20 minutes left, you'll get out to a place called Koalina, and out there is a big Disney resort called Ayalani. There's a Marriott Timeshare Hotel. There is also this uh, new, brand new Four Seasons Hotel that actually was formerly a JW Marriott, and has had a major, major makeover, about 250 million to upgrade the property. And I've got to say, these are probably the best rooms in Oahu right now. Very different experience. You're out there at this resort. You feel like you're on another island in Hawaii, yet you're a 20 minute drive from Honolulu Airport. So no changing planes, no going anywhere else. And it's really close to the North Shore. North Shore, you can swim with the turtles. You can go up to the old beautiful town of Halewa, the great little craft shops, restaurants. And then you've got the Bonsai Pipeline a bit further up. So you're so close to that North Shore. Um, but a very different experience. It really is like an all-encompassing resort experience. And this Four Seasons really is an impressive property. Um, so what are some of the top attractions, I guess, in the area? or some of the activities that you can do if yeah. you're not um, a hardcore surfer on the North Shore. Well, you've actually got the White Kelly outlets already about a 20 minute drive away. And, uh, Are you talking shopping? Talking Honey. shopping. There's so <laughs> many Aussies in that place, I tell you, it sounds like it is an Aussie place. Uh, but again, like I was swimming with the turtles the other day, okay. like literally a 15, 20 minute drive from the hotel. Um, you can then go and do a private, they've actually got a, just a, almost about a five minute drive away from the hotel. There's a huge private nature reserve, which is an only access to, uh, to locals of the area. They're doing a hike at the moment right across the ridge of a mountain and the views are spectacular right across Oahu, a little exclusive guest activity. Do you need a car or are the drivers there or can you access any of this from some sort of public transport? Oh, no, you'd probably, I, I, to be honest, I'd get a rental car or just take the hotel can organize transport for you, but a few other great things you can do. I mean, you can go scuba diving off the front of the property. Uh, they've got a beautiful adults only um, infinity pool. Uh, this is a great selection of restaurants. The rooms are just outstanding though. The rooms look straight across the west into the sunsets and the sunset from your balcony is absolutely stunning. It's, it really is like being on a completely different place in Hawaii. So talk to us then about the, you know, the dining experience at the Four Seasons. Well, there's, there's a, a, this is one of the things I had to get right. So okay. when you look at a destination resort, you can't walk up the street and go and have a meal somewhere. So they've done a selection of bars and restaurants I think have come up really good. There's uh, a line to table called Fish House, which is using uh, fresh uh, fresh seafood from line court seafood. There's an Italian restaurant called Noe, which has got beautiful Italian food. Uh, there's Lahiki, which is a Pan-Asian style uh, there as well of food. There's Waterman Bar and Grill by the pool, which is really good. One of my favorite little things though, is a little food truck, uh, almost on the front of the lagoon. And on Tuesdays, they do tacos with shrimp from the North Shore. Those who've been to the North Shore know the shrimp trucks are actually quite close to this resort. So they bring that down and they give it a little experience at the hotel. but. Uh, really good food and beverage there. So, but uh, we wanted to try and find a bit more about what goes on at the hotel and caught up with um, the head chef of the resort, Martin Nalbert, uh, who uh, has been with them for a few months. He's been with uh, Four Seasons properties all over the world and okay. does some fantastic cuisine. So, let's, let's, have, let's have a chat. It's the hidden treasure of Oahu, the west side. If you look all the way west, you see Makaa and the mountains there, and it's a little bit of an untouched area. So, this is going to be the new hotspot of. of Oahu. Um, Waikiki, in my mind, is, is done, and what, what we do different here is because we are so close to the west side, and as a chef, I went there in the first weeks I, I got here, there's so many farms that produce amazing products and amazing uh, uh, lettuces, kale, like things you wouldn't expect in Hawaii, and it really inspired me to have that influence in, in our restaurants here at the Four Seasons Resort Oahu. And the good thing's a bit different here, obviously you've got, a, you've got a fish house restaurant which is all very, very seafood and uh, we're, in, we're actually in the, in the Pan-Asian restaurant now and then you've, you've got an Italian restaurant as well, so kind of, kind of looking at a few different kind of concepts for guests here, aren't you? Definitely, we want to we wanna give guests the opportunity to stay in this hotel and have different dining experiences every night or every day, as long as they're here and there's a, just a broad spectrum of food that we can offer. The fish house really is seafood concept, line to table concept, very fresh organic products at where, where we can and um, it's the local